Hey everybody, this is the nerd in the garage again, working on his 240Z. What you see here is an E88 head from a 73240, and I've got a um, aftermarket cam on this. This is an Urson cam from quite a, from quite a few years ago. It's a pretty nice cam. It's uh, asymmetrical. I think it's, um, I'll give you the specs later. But the um, the base uh, the base cam um, diameter is the same as the standard the the stock cams. So what that means is that the the, um, um, the rocker arm pivots are pretty much all the way down, and um, and the lash pads are going to be pretty close to standard standard thickness. Here I am rotating it one time around. I've got one of the exhaust, um, the exhaust one's done, and now I'm going to do an intake one, which is right next to it. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to show how the uh, how all these all these geometries work together, and it's uh, it's a little complicated. And um, some other guys have done some really great videos of putting engines together. But I haven't really seen something that really kind of answered all my questions as far as uh, setting these lash pads and such. And uh, once I kind of figured it out, I figured, well, maybe, I, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll help somebody out. So here we go. So here's the head. Like I said, it's a, uh, it's a 240 E88 head. Um, all valves, valves redone. Uh, new seats, it's got the uh, larger, does have the larger um, 280 intake valves. And uh, <clears throat> it also has some larger springs. Um, the head's been modified uh, to uh, eliminate that little step that's by where the uh, springs uh, sit. That's been that's been taken care of. Uh, these are new um, these are new rocker pivots. Uh, I got new rocker arms. Got new lash pads. And uh, well, here we go. We're gonna just kind of show you how to do this. I got my rocker arms are um, just got some red sharpie on there. It's been sitting on there for a couple minutes. Here's one of the lash pads. This is a stock lash pad. It's uh, about 120 thousandths. Um, from that little feature there to the top and uh, I'm going to do an intake one uh, so that means I'm going to use the 8 thousandths uh, feeler gauge to kind of set the uh, lash and I've also got this pretty nifty little tool from um, Z-Card Depot uh, for kind of uh, compressing the valve while I'm trying to get the lash pads, lash pads in and out Pretty nice. It's uh, stainless. Got some nice welds on it. Um, I had to deburr it just a little bit, uh, but overall, it's it's pretty nicely made. It's pretty nicely designed. It's got some lock nuts on it as well. All stainless hardware. Sorry, I can't keep it in view here. My uh, production values are never very good here. Anyway, so I'm gonna um, put the camera down and. Uh, Kind of step through this again, and we'll see if you guys can see what I'm doing. So here I've got one of the lash pads. I'm going to put a little grease on it. <clears throat> Drop that in there. It's a new lash pad. I'm going to put some... Uh, Grease on my pivot, my rocker arm face. I'm going to put some grease on the top of the pivot. And then I'm going to compress the spring. Something like that. I'm going to slip my, my 
macaroni. A little bit of oil on there. A little grease move on there. Okay. I'll take this off for a second. Go put some lube on the can. Don't really want to run it dry. Work that around. <clears throat> And this is, like I said, this is uh, 8 thousandths. This is an 8 thousand gap. My 8 thousandths goes in there pretty, pretty nicely. Yeah, it's just starting to rub. So I'm gonna lock it down there. Check it. I'm gonna rotate it around here twice. Did it around one more time. What the hell? Like that. And then we'll take this off. I'm on the uh, base circle here. I've also got the head kind of clamped down to the bench. And we should be able to just pop this out without even adjusting the lash. That's the beauty of this tool. Now I can kind of just take a look at where the lobe is striking the, the pad. So you can kind of see it there. The uh, You can see some of the Sharpies have been removed um, towards the ends there. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, I'm no expert, but uh, that's pretty close to being centered on the, uh, the rocker arm. Um, I don't think I can really get it too much better than that. I think that's gonna work. Um, so kind of what's going on here is that the, the, the rocker pivot and the the lash, they kind of create this teeter-totter effect here with the uh, rocker arm. And what we don't want is we don't want that cam lobe to kind of strike the edge of that rocker surface because you know, there's a little bit of a corner there. And I think in a very short amount of time, you would be, you would chew up your cam pretty quickly. So, that's one of the reasons why we don't do it. And then the other reason is just to make sure that you get the lift, the valve lift, like you're supposed to get as designed by the engineers of the cam and, and everybody else. Um, 
I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do like a little illustration to kind of show you this as well. Okay, so here's kind of what I think is going on with this geometry. Um, you can see the uh, poorly poorly drawn cam lobe there on the top, and here I've got some more parts. I've got the rocker with its face, that rocker arm face there. And then I've also got a uh, you know, I got the, the valve retainer and the lash pad in there and the spring. And then we've got the uh, rocker and pivots themselves itself. So anyway, we want to keep this gap between the base cam, the base of the cam geometry and this rocker arm kind of constant. But this thing can kind of, you know, you can achieve, you can achieve that a couple different ways. You can have it, you can kind of teeter-totter this. So it can kind of be like that, and you can get an 8,000 scap or whatever you're shooting for. Or you can go like that, and you get a 8,000 scap um, by kind of doing different things. So if if this cam has been, if this cam is a regrind, that base diameter is going to be smaller. And what you're going to have to do, of course, is you're going to have to run. You're gonna have to run that rocker pivot up. The rocker arm's gonna have to get that rocker pivot's gonna have to get run up to kind of compensate for that. So this this is gonna have to go up. And then you'll have to change something over here on this side to kind of help with that too. But once again, this thing is kind of just kind of teeter, teeter tottering, teeter tottering here, like that. And by changing this lash pad, you can kind of you can go from this, um, where the lobe might be kind of hitting, hitting that edge there on the on the rocker arm surface, to maybe something like that, where now you're kind of more centered. So I think that's kind of what's going on. At least I think that makes sense. Um, let me know if you uh, don't agree with me. But yeah, there's some very interesting geometries going on here. So. Take care.